efficiency problems will be solved with organizational changes. So Olympian Motors has a lean organization. We are a startup company. We are a early stage company. We are uh, we close to uh, investment rounds in the past, but we are still at the early stage. But we are still able to manufacture cars. Our production capacity is 320 vehicles uh, today. <laughs> All right, this is another episode of the Founders Pack Form Your Own Pack podcast. My guest today is Erin Karzlin, whose name I hopefully said correctly, from Olympian Motors. Erin was one of the guests in our first dinner this year in New York with Y Combinator Techstars founders. So Erin, thanks for joining me. Hey, Michael. Thanks for having me here. Not, yes, and it was a um, correct pronunciation. Oh, good. I need to work on my pronunciation skills across multiple cultures. It's really awesome. important. All right. So for people that don't know, who is Erin and what is Olympian Motors? Yeah, Michael, uh, we are a new electric vehicle company. We are manufacturing electric vehicles with a new modular manufacturing system. And we are also bringing aesthetics, color, experience, and excitement back to the automotive industry. And you have... Uh, to Point like that's a you have some really unique designs that we've seen out there, right? Yeah, because one thing that we realize that if you look at the today's automotive design culture, you will see that every car is refined towards a certain rectangular, monochromatic, gray color cars. And we said, hey, let's stop this. Let's change this. Let's bring colors, aesthetic, nature back to the industry. So that was a bit, you know, uh, an inspiration from the Wabi Sabi culture. Uh, if you scroll down, I would like to actually show the interior also a bit too. In yeah, in this photo, if you like, yes. Um, Oops. It's the design outside, but also the interior inside is also providing a minimalistic experience to the uh, drivers. And as Olympian Motors, we claim one thing: we create beautiful cars. We create simplistic cars, cars that people enjoy, not only drive from destination A to destination B. Because people who would like to drive long miles every day, commute to their work for 50 miles every day, or you know, do some interstate travel, they should go and uh, buy Ford. They should go, go buy Volkswagen, Toyota. There are many good cars. We, Olympian Motors is not that. Olympian Motors is a different statement. Olympian Motors is a statement with style. I love it. And the designs are very compelling. And you have multiple designs also. I think we've talked, like, you're, you're presenting this one. And what, what's the name of this vehicle? Uh, that's Olympian uh, Model 01. O1. That's our sedan model. And also we have our uh, SUV model as well, uh, which is also um, uh, our... Let me show you, actually. Can I share my yeah. screen? Do that. Yeah, you should just be able to hit share. And this is model 84. Again, let's take one step back. We, This is model 01 on the left-hand side, our sedan model. And model 84 is our SUV model. And wow. these two, both models are built on top of the same electric vehicle platform. So they are identical in, in terms of design and battery, powertrain, power supply, uh, infotainment solutions, operating system. They are uniform. Uh, they are uniform. But the outside appearance is modularly designed, and we effectively manufacture the rest of the components. Uh, with 80 with 80 percent less reduction less costly on the tooling expenses uh, we will be able to manufacture these vehicles very efficiently and that's our claim we said yes we are creating beautiful cars but on the other side we are manufacturing them very efficiently rapidly so compared to Ford compared to general Motors and compared to other legacy automakers Olympian Motors is doing one thing very efficiently manufacturing the cars, with less resources with uh, and rapidly. And uh, if you 
uh, go to a manufacturing or check the manufacturing operation at Ford or General Motors, you will see a lot of inertia, bureaucracy, and managers managing middle managers. There is an endless uh, protocols and cycles that holding a manufacturing company back. A manufacturing company, an automotive car manufacturing company should have only one purpose. Create beautiful cars, create cars that uh, drivers want and serve the customer demand. That's what we would like to do with Olympia. Love it. Well, it's definitely inspiring and an exciting visual experience. Um, and Coming at, well, first of all, I guess, uh, you know, where is the company at and what's next for you guys? Yeah, we are based in uh, uh, New York. We are based in Brooklyn Navy Yard uh, in New Lab facility. Uh, it provides us uh, certain prototyping capabilities, including uh, from CNC machines to, uh, uh, to metal and wood uh, 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 pro processing. Uh, and on the other side, uh, electronic our electronics lab and testing environment as well, because Brooklyn Navy Yard is a place close to traffic. So we will be able to test drive. We will be able to run our uh, camera calibration, uh, safety, uh, and, and user experience test inside the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Um, and on the other side, we are also have a footprint in uh, Detroit as well. And we would like to have another uh, uh, facility in Detroit as well uh, in 2023. And our intention is to change and break the manufacturing inertia. We said, if you look at how, how they manufacture electric vehicles in Asia, I mean, Korea, Taiwan, China, you will see there, there's a lot of, there's high efficiency, productivity, and uh, more economically feasible uh, automotive industry per vehicle. On the other side, in the United States, there is a very high capex expenditure, goes into uh, building a huge factories, uh, land, equipment, hiring tens of thousands of labor, uh, but hiring people and dumping money onto the land doesn't solve your efficiency problems. Efficiency problems will be solved with organizational change. So Olympian Motors has a lean organization. We are a startup company. We are a early stage company. We are uh, we close to uh, investment rounds in the past, but we are still at the early stage. But we are still, able to manufacture cars. Our production capacity is 320 vehicles uh, today if we went to full production mode. But currently we are in the early production stage that we will launch first completed vehicles actually in this summer. So 2023 is very exciting year for us. But what I'm uh, trying to make a statement was the legacy automakers are slow. Right. The manufacturing operations are bureaucratic, and we are going to disrupt them. I love it. That's exciting. Um, what was your experience with Y Combinator? Because you were a Y Combinator company. How was that? And what did you learn? take away from that? Y Combinator culture is great. Y Combinator culture is actually what we need uh, more in the uh, entire startup ecosystem. Uh, that endless optimism and people. Founders uh, and YC community, it was very, they, they were very supportive. So I would recommend everyone to apply for Y Combinator, uh, even though acceptance rates are getting uh, uh, lower and lower every year. Yeah, but uh, it, Y Combinator definitely was a good experience for us, um, especially there are a lot of uh, knowledge encapsulated uh, in a very short form. For example, if you are going to do, uh, 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 for example, establish a supply chain, establish a public relations operations, or how to hire, how to communicate with investors, there are like simple uh, a set of information that could be really useful for founders. So founders doesn't need to rely on their intuition, but experience of uh, previous founders. So very good. So, and on the other side, I would say Y Combinator is more uh, 
uh, oriented towards uh, software companies, not hardware companies, but it was something that is changing res in recent years. So Olympian Motors was a hardware company. We are a hardware technology company. So that's why um, Olympian Motors was great for us, but could be even better maybe for hardware startups in the future years. I love it. Yeah, and it's exciting that you've gone through that because hopefully we'll see, you know, we have different types of entrepreneurs that are trying to get on the bandwagon where, and I said a bandwagon of, you know, we we evangelize some ideals like rapidly prototype, talk to real customers, mm -hmm. talk to real investors right away. So rather than, you know, getting stuck in to kind of legacy models, same thing. Like, I think that's what's exciting where it's possible to build a car company or a hardware company or, you know, another technology that's not even software with the same ideals. Exactly. And I think uh, there is, if I'm not wrong, Andres and Horowitz said, manufacturing is the new frontier, uh, especially in the United States, right? I think that's 100% correct. That um, especially if it's small scale and rapid, right? Like if there's new tech that can allow you to do that. Exactly. So new tech, namely, for example, metal printers, uh, programmable, programmable uh, CNC machines. Uh, I'm talking about like advanced programming, of course, uh, and able to create a, a fully integrated supply chain of hardware product by using, uh, again, additive manufacturing is one side. Uh, there are some robotic arms manufacturing is on the other side and low efficiency, but mundane operations can be outsourced. But uh, it's possible to uh, establish a very smart manufacturing operation in the United States. And I know that there are a couple of companies are also working on this uh, area as well. Some companies are even have some uh, solutions right now in manufacturing AI and getting the recent benefits of AI in how to model uh, CNC machines, how to model printers. There are a couple of good starts up about that. And we are always in conversation with them as well. I think manufacturing is really, really uh, uh, important right now. Uh, and, and that's an exact, that's the new frontier. I love it. All right. If you could offer other founders only one piece of advice, what would that be? I will say be very optimistic, but execute relentlessly. And even though things can go wrong like they may they might go wrong right but in that case that optimism is the only thing that will will keep you driving forward uh that will be one my piece of small piece of advice that's great advice uh what's the role of partnerships or community been in your success so far i say it again uh the role of partnerships and or community in your success um community and in, 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 in that sense, I will say, uh, why Combinator community is great. New York City maker builder community is also, uh, I think, growing right now. And I will recommend also everyone to check with, uh, okay, we talked about why Combinator, that's good. And I will also recommend people, especially hardware startups to check Neil Lab in New York. So they have facility in New York and also in Detroit, Michigan. Um, again, that's also will be another community they should they would like to tap in. That's terrific. Well, I want to thank you for spending time with us, and I, I like yeah. the visual aspect of this particular startup. It's kind of fun and it's inspiring to see new design, and I'm excited to see what happens in the summer with your kind of your first prototypes. Uh, we're going to wrap with one final thing, which is when we have interesting people on the podcast, we like you to nominate another interesting person, someone that you can introduce us to that's either a founder or investor in an interesting, scalable venture. Who would you like to nominate as a future guest? And keep in mind, we also talk to a lot of Y Combinator stars, but yeah, let me uh, let me recommend the non-YC company, actually. Sure. Uh, my friend, Micah uh, Springer. Micah Springgood, he's working on monumental labs. They are creating um, uh, artistically designed stone carving manufacturing uh, powered by AI. Uh, maybe 
there will be some nuance on what I stated as a business model. That's a, but it's a definitely interesting company that I would recommend you to check in. That's amazing. All right. So Micah from Monumental Labs, you've been nominated as a future guest. We appreciate that. Thank you so much for spending time with me and sharing with the with us the Olympian Motors story. We're excited to see what comes next. Thank you, Michael. And thanks for sharing our excitement as well. Uh, keep in touch.